You are not racist if you hate illegal immigrants. You are not racist for believing illegal immigrant belong in jail. Illegal immigrants ruin it for legal immigrants. You broke the law to get here, you go to jail. Illegal immigrant ruin immigration for legal immigrants as immigration laws have to become even stricter to account for illegal immigrants increasing the backlog and forcing people to go to the back line because someone broke the law and cut the line. You illegally immigrate from Canada, you go to jail, Mexico, go to jail too. If you come here illegally you should go to jail. It's not about race, it's about the law. Edit, since everything thinks I hate brown people I'm just gonna drop this here. I'm not white. I am white passing Arab for those going through my post history saying I'm white, y'all racist. Edit 2, I misspoke when I said hate, I do not advocate for hate, it was a convenient word and I apologize, I will not edit my post to make it more eloquent. Edit 3, when I say illegal immigrants I mean everybody who came here with a visa and overstayed their welcome too. Y'all are racist for assuming it's just about the brown people. I speak Spanish as a second language, and thus by the definition you all have given me I am not xenophobic. Edit 4, thank you to anyone who gave me awards, I appreciate it but I would much rather the money go to a charity to help people immigrate legally. Agreed. Illegal immigrant isn't even a race anyway. I came as an undocumented alien against my will when I was 9 years old. I come from a very small town in the mountains of Michoacan. I had no idea of what the USA was. Or what it was like. Kid innocence 100% with a strong mix of ignorance. I am now a US citizen. I had to work hard for it and earn it. I understand this is a hot issue. Morally, many of us don't want to abandon certain folks to their mercy. It's understandable that there is compassion. At the same time, I understand the legality behind this topic. And guess what, the tittle is right. But unfortunately it becomes a political issue. Mostly used for personal gain or votes. It's a much deeper problem than just complaining about it online. The US has the power to eliminate illegal immigration but it hasn't done it. Some of my people think they play the blind eye to it. I want to make it clear that I am an American at heart. I am very proud to belong to this nation. We are very lucky and most of us don't know it. Don't flame me. Just expressing my opinion. Fine. But I also believe the people employing them should be in fucking jail too. Because if people would stop hiring them, they would stop showing up. They're here in search of a better life in large part because they know there are jobs. And as long as there are jobs, they'll keep coming. You want them to stop? Stop fucking hiring them. You want people to stop hiring them? Start throwing the owners of the businesses that do so in jail, and slash or fining them tens of thousands of dollars, per immigrant, per day they were employed. I feel like people come from a place of ignorance when they accuse undocumented immigrants, especially those from Central America, of not being able to fix the mess that's going on at home. I'm honestly shocked that a lot of people don't know the about the US involvement in destabilizing Central American democracies. These countries wouldn't be the way they are now without US intervention, whether it was about the fear of communism or business interests. I understand the concern for growing numbers of undocumented immigrants, but let's not pretend that the US is not responsible for the situations that are causing them to seek asylum. Instead I believe that the conversation should be focused on how to help repair the situation that the US had a huge hand in. Yes as of right now we as citizens didn't partake in the destabilization, but we are in some ways benefiting from it. Just trying to completely ban every undocumented immigrant while also being ignorant to the actions that caused their problems will only lead to even more, and most times worse, situations. If you want the situation to be better find politicians that can actually combat it in a more educated light. All the times that the US interfered internationally, https colon slash slash www. Google. com slash amp slash s slash www. Global research. CA slash a timeline of CIA atrocities slash 5348804 slash amp.
at the same time people are disproportionately projecting their anger on undocumented immigrants than the people who are exploiting them. I'm talking about business owners who illegally use the fact that they are here illegally as to justify giving them unsafe working conditions and horrible hours, since they're not protected citizens. Basically what I'm saying is, if you want to solve the problem of illegal immigration, you have to change your focus on what's really causing it. There are people who are in most part responsible for the situation, the CIA for creating the reason for people to seek asylum or a better life, and the employers who want to extort and abuse undocumented immigrants just so that they can profit more, aka the people with a lot of power. Going after them and holding them accountable for their actions is a step in fixing the problem of illegal immigration. A lot of political figures nowadays are only focused on fixing the symptoms of a much larger problem. Instead of fixing the source of the problem, probably because it involves accountability, they make it so that the problem gets worse. I think people bring racism into the conversation because when illegal immigrants are referred to in political conversations, it's usually brown and black immigrants being referred to. If the same energy was given to illegal immigrants from Europe and Canada that was given to Hispanic, Middle Eastern, and African immigrants then the word racist would be thrown around a lot less. The extent to which this is not an unpopular opinion is a whole conversation in itself. Anyway, Op's title should read you are not necessarily racist if you hate illegal immigration. But let's not fucking kid ourselves here, there are a lot of people who are super duper racist that have heavily invested themselves in this issue. Personally I think the problem with discussing it is that almost every perspective has some solid points to be made. Yes, illegal immigration is a problem, yet it could probably be a little harder to get in. The proposed wall is laughably useless but there is certainly room for improvement. But at the same time most of the problem is not how easy it is to get into the country. It's how easy it is to get work once you get here. How many bottom lines, big and small, absolutely depend on paying substandard wages with no taxes or insurance or liability. In my opinion the rest of the problem has to do with how hard it is to come in legally. Of course there has to be some screening. But why are we discouraging people who are clearly enthusiastic about being here and working hard, from coming in, paying taxes, opening business etc. We need to stop treating people who are chasing the American dream like a blight, and start treating them like an opportunity. The people who are fighting to normalize illegal immigration ignore a lot of inconvenient truths. 1. Illegals from Latin America are paying $5,000 to $10,000 each to drug cartels to sneak them across the border, often in ways that are hazardous. Illegals have been abandoned in the desert or left in the back of locked trucks in 100 degree weather. Stories of sexual assault and sexual exploitation are not uncommon. Illegal immigrants often work for far less than minimum wage, and in unsafe working conditions, such as meat processing plants that violate safety regulations or working 12-hour shifts six days a week on farms. Children work in these conditions too. Migrant farm workers sometimes live in unsanitary work camps, shelters with no heat, air conditioning, or running water. Edit, yes, they're AEE skilled laborers who earn much more, but a lot more live hard lives. Illegal immigrants, while celebrated for energizing local economies, put tremendous strain on local schools, hospitals, law enforcement, and social services. This money is not reimbursed by the federal government and negatively impacts local residents. Examples, it's not incumbent for illegals to use forged documents and stolen social security numbers to obtain medical services, which are never paid for. Illegals can also overwhelm small local schools with large numbers of students who speak no English. If you support illegal immigration, you may be a decent, kind-hearted, well-meaning person with a lot of compassion, but the issue is nuanced, complex, and requires an honest discussion. If you care about people, you should also care about what happens to them once they get over the border. Source, I live 30 minutes from the Mexican border, my ex-wife is a registered nurse who serves this community, I know someone who works for the U.S. Border Patrol. I once served on a federal grand jury that was investigating drug cartels and human trafficking. 
I personally have crossed paths with groups of illegal border crossers, and their scary looking coyotes, guides, while hiking along the border. No, I do not believe illegals are drug runners, rapists, or any of that mega bullshit. They are just people looking for a better life and I don't blame them or vilify them for trying. This is only unpopular on Reddit and Tumblr. I think everyone deserves a chance, but doing it the right way. Agree. But you shouldn't hate anybody. Life is too short for that bullshit. Many American businesses run on illegal immigrants paying them jack shit. And the punishment if they get caught is nothing. Illegal immigrants are wanted for cheap labor and that's the reason they should have no chance to become legal citizens. America's immigration system is also ridiculously difficult to get through legally even if you work there for years and are highly qualified. This oversimplifies the argument for immigration reform. Yes people cross the border illegally, no one is defending that. What progressives are against in today's political climate include 1. The handling of DACA recipients who were children when their parents crossed illegally. 2. Measures the administration has taken to rescind TPS status for refugees whose homelands were impacted by natural disasters. 3. An apparent willingness to reject refugees from countries hit with more recent disasters e. g. Bermuda. 4. The travel ban which was strongly argued was motivated to restrict Muslims from entering the country. 5. Refusing asylum seekers entry by placing them indefinitely in detention camps or arguing they should claim asylum elsewhere first, or stay in Mexico, which has been legally contentious and has gotten the attention of global human rights groups. 6. Enhanced deportation efforts for immigrants who overstayed their visas. It's been argued that the administration is seeking to detain these immigrants while they are trying to become legal, for example attempting to detain them at government offices where they complete applications to proceed with the process. 7. Pervasive expressions of distrust of refugees and asylum seekers from the president the administration, painting immigrants as dangerous people to be mistrusted. 8. Pervasive expressions from supporters of the president slash conservatives with racist arguments, that to be fair, op is avoiding to his credit, suggesting that they come from shithole countries and they should be working to fix things there rather than bringing their country's problems here. Far from an exhaustive list.